Hello everyone, this is Pooja with Embellishment Central and I have a beautiful album to show you. This was one of my very first albums. Uh, I have done a lot of experimenting with this album and since it was those days when I was just starting out, I do not have a lot of die cuts or embellishments in this. It is a very simple album made just basic, basically ma made using uh, paper. Um, I don't even have a chipboard in this. I made the binding, I mean the cover, using uh, Amazon boxes. Uh, believe it or not, but yeah, there's cuttings from Amazon boxes. So, um, just one of my very first album, which I adore because it turned out to be very gorgeous. For this, I used uh, three different paper stashes. So, the first one I used was the Blush Glam by Craftsmith. The second one I used was the Primrose Collection by DCVW and the third one I used was the Kirby Teasdale by The Paper Studio. I was just doing a lot of experimenting so uh, mixed and matched and I'm gonna name this album The Vintage Garden. Uh, let me quickly go ahead and show it to you. It is an 8 by 6 album and all the pages are also 8 by 6. For the front I just kept it very simple, uh, put some lovely flowers there and uh, made this out of uh, a tin can, a monster tin can. Just die cut it. I use, let me show you the die cut I used. This is the one I used. So it's the Elentina cutting dies and I have used the bigger one out of the three. And I grabbed this at the scrapbook expo I went to last year. So um, I have the the dye is very strong it's very good so i cut this out it's it gives a lot of uh, dimension to the page and i just have more pretty pearl bling right here for the side this was actually a keychain i found at daiso japan and it is a dollar 50 it is very gorgeous and and matches the paper collection and uh, just some pretty rose uh, ribbon trim for the back, I have kept it very simple. Let me show you the inside very quickly. For the first page, I have a small booklet right here. This is a, a button that I found on uh, eBay. I just do a lot of window shopping on eBay and I found a, uh, a pack of these buttons. They are very pretty if you can see. There's lovely designs. So I found a pack of 50, I guess, and it's for two or three dollars only. So for the first page, that's a button and that opens up. If you can see, it's a mini booklet right there. And there you go. For the next page, I have a belly band with a, a small uh, tab to prevent the photo mats from sliding down. So if you can see, the back is very pretty. The paper collection is very gorgeous. I just wanted to do a lot of mix match in here. So you can place a lovely uh, four by six uh, photo on there, journal something right there. For the next few photo mats, it's very simple. You can place a huge five by seven photo on here or two four by sixes or three by fives. For the next page, I've just created a waterfall. So there's the magnetic closure belly band opens up and there's a lot of pages in here for you to uh, put photos. You can even journal on these. You just need a black Sharpie and journal on there. So if you can see, there's room for a lot of photos in there. For the next page, this opens up right here. And I have a pocket with photo mats. This was a part of the Primrose collection. It, it comes with the paper stash, so I, I, I just had to cut it out. For here, I have a pocket with a photo mat. And there's a pocket right there with some mats. For the next page, I've created a sort of uh, an envelope. This opens up and there's photo mats right there. It's pretty
really thick so you can house a lot of photos in there this is another set of buttons that i found on ebay this is it if you can see it was a pack of 50 and this is again i guess just two or three dollars here i have given you uh two uh, small uh tag envelopes so for you to put uh photos receipts ephemera anything anything that you uh, uh love to collect so that's the next page that's the front of the next page it opens up i have fuzzy cut this out uh, from the paper collection and there's photo mats there you can slide a photo right there like so so you can put a good uh, five by seven uh, photo there for the next page again just another tab with photo mats and a tag I've just put this paper so that it does not uh, it does not mess with the other page. So this is uh, just a, a pocket with journaling cards. This opens up right here. That's a photo mat there. This is again another fuzzy cut, and I've just backed it on uh, some cardstock. Another pocket with a lot of tags. This opens up and reveals two pockets with photo mats. There's a lot of mix match going here, but it, it all gels very beautifully with each other. For the next page, I have just created a small booklet and uh, cut out a stamping of a fleur de lis uh, uh, that I had and it's a very small cute little booklet for you to stamp so um, it, it stays here with a magnet this opens up this opens up right here this is for you to slide a photo right there and slide a photo right there also this opens up right here so there's a photo mat a tag and you can put uh, there's a lot of room for more photos there this is my favorite page so I have just done some uh, I put some glitter on here to give it a little bit more of the dimension This opens up, reveals lovely uh, pockets for with photo mats. The the cutouts that I had, this is uh, uh, actually a stencil that I created. I did not have at this point of time. I did not have any dies, so this was actually hand cut and backed on uh, cardstock that I had to hand cut again. So there's photo mats right there. And this opens up again so that's your photo can slide right there and photo mats with a tag for the next page this opens up right here That's, that's very lovely. I have just put some glitter on here. That opens up. More photo mats and a tag. That's another pocket with a photo mat. Next page, very simple but very beautiful. Opens up to reveal a lot of different kinds of photo mats. For the next page, I have uh, fuzzy cut this out out of the paper collection for you, for you to slide a photo mat in there. This opens up, it's magnetically closed. So this opens up, reveals a lovely uh, postcard. This pulls out. 
so you can place a photo right here you can just cut the photo in half trust me it will look gorgeous or just put two photos again depending on the number of photos you have in your uh, collection and this opens up revealing pockets with photo mats For the next page, I have a small mini booklet and I have just created kind of a frame right here. So what you can do is if you have a photo, just slide it through there. So you can put a, a three by five photo in here. And this is a small mini booklet. Let me go ahead and show it to you. There you go. Just very pretty and dainty. And this is held here by magnets. So it comes out to reveal a pocket with uh, some journaling cards. For the next page, I have a magnetic closing right here, opens up to reveal a pocket with a photo mat. And this again opens up to reveal another pocket for a photo mat. And these are two uh, tags where you can slide your photo and just write something about the photo. So right there. And on the side, I just have a lovely postcard for you to write something on or journal something on. For the next page, I just have lovely postcards. Closes. So it's a small booklet that I created. This is similar to that. Opens up to reveal another booklet for this page this opens up there's magnetic closure you can put journal something right here it opens up to reveal a lovely photo mat space for photos on both sides right here and this opens up to reveal photo mat and a pocket with Format and the tag. For the last page, as I like to do with all my albums, I just like to give you space for all the extras that you have. Any extra photo mats or anything that you would want uh, to keep uh, store away in here for future needs. So this comes out. A lot of tags right here journaling cards tags and for the last page i just have a lovely frame for you to put the last picture of the album something that was very memorable uh, throughout the album you can even make a collage of a photo and just place it here just summarizing uh, what your album contained so that's the end of the album thank you so much for watching bye bye